<laughs> These guys have got the flashy moves, but they've never had any formal training. Jarrell, for example, has all the raw talent. His athletic ability is unbelievable, but he's had a tough time. Tapos sagpa, sagpa minsan meron po yung nag-aaway na bakada ko tapos papasubo ako. Malaking po problema po sa akin. Palagi akong nadadambot sa mga pulis. Tapos siyempre nahihiya din ako parang sinisira ko yung apelyedo namin. Uh, pag may problema pa ako sa paminsan, doon po ako pumunta sa basketball court. Masaya po ako pag naglaro ako ng basketball. Palagi namin sinasabi sa kanya na ano, kailangan disiplina ng huwag makipag-away. Ang malaking opportunity. Bait din naman siya. Mahalaga po sa akin yung ano, pag punta doon sa Maynila, maglala ng basketball. Kahit sinasabi nila na bad boy ako, at least may pinakita ako na yung mga talent ko. Tapos mahalaga po sa akin to kasi gustong gusto ko pong maka, makatungtog yung basketball ko. I need Paul George to help Jarrell harness his energy on the court. Two more, two more makes, two more makes. There we go. That's it. Okay. I personally dealt with, you know, rough times growing up. You know, my mom felt real sick. You got to use basketball as a way of, you know, channeling emotions, you know, getting frustration out. You know, when, whenever you, you know, feeling down, feeling sad, basketball was really the key for me. You know, when I had rough days, I locked myself in the gym, put up shots, work on my ball handling. That was my way out. So that's what I want you to do is use basketball as a way to channel all those emotions and just put it into basketball. Sharel, the flying trapeze, Bell Time. Ladies and gentlemen, your rise 24. The good thing is Jarrell seems to be much more focused. He's got his emotions in check and he's shooting the lights out.